Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I have a question for you. Are you struggling getting prospects and people to talk to on Facebook? You reach out to them but they just turn you away or they block you or they're not liking commenting and sharing on your posts? Well, chances are it may be because you're implementing one of these five deadly sins on Facebook. And I want to tell you right now, it is not your fault. I was guilty of doing all of these five deadly sins as well. But then I've learned from my great mentor and friend, Ray Higdon, what they were and how to correct them. And that's what I want to do today in this video is to share with you what these five deadly sins are and how to overcome them. So get out a pad of paper and a pen and be prepared to take some notes. Now, as I mentioned, I learned this from Ray Higdon because I was so guilty of doing this. I was pulling my hair out, you know, several years ago in frustration as to why I wasn't getting any interaction. And Ray, I attended a training by Ray and he pointed out these mistakes. And his, his wife, Jessica, also uh, put some good points in these um, five deadly sins as well. And what I learned from them is when I started changing the way I thought about how I put stuff out on Facebook and became very deliberate, my results changed. So if you're not following Ray and Jessica right now, I really recommend that you go and follow them on Ray's Facebook fan page. We're going to facebook.com forward slash Ray Higdon page. He puts out amazing content on his fan page on a daily basis. And every Friday, he does free coaching Friday where he'll do a Facebook Live, you know, for about anywhere between 30 up to 60 minutes. And he really answers questions that many network marketers have with building their business whether it's on Facebook, other forms of social media, or offline. And he's going to give you such amazing practical advice that really works. Now, what I want you to do, too, is pay attention and stay with me until the end of this video because I have something very special that Ray just opened up that I know are, is really going to help you out a lot. So let's go through these five deadly sins that marketers make, network marketers make on Facebook. Deadly sin number one, always using your company or product name in your profile or your fan page. I was guilty of doing this. And the reason this is a deadly sin is that number one, from a branding perspective, you are really doing yourself a disservice because people right now, you know, network marketing companies, come and go. I mean, very rarely do you see uh, certain companies, you know, stand the test of time like uh, Amway and Mary Kay and Avon and Herbalife, you know, and so many of them go out of business. And if you attach yourself and you brand yourself to your company and that company goes out of business, you know, how are you going to attract more people? They're always going to equate you to that company that went out of business. So it's going to put you in a negative light. Now, the other thing that happens is that on Facebook, Facebook doesn't want people's profiles to look like walking advertising bulletin boards. Okay. People go on Facebook to be entertained, to be educated and to engage and when you put promotions out with your company and your products that is not contributing to the overall user experience and facebook has been uh made it very well known they don't like network marketers and they have been suspending people's accounts if they're violating the terms of Facebook and a lot of marketers they don't know what those terms are and so that's why you don't want to be using your company or product name on your profile the other reason that you shouldn't do this and this is something Ray really pointed out is that when people when you start telling people you're you're in a new business or you're building a business and you have your company your product name out there people are naturally going to go to Google 
and want to check it out. And then what happens is, is on usually on the first page of Google, they're going to have reviews. And a lot of times it's going to be negative reviews that show up on Google. And your, and your prospects are going to wind up having a negative perception of what your company is. And that is immediately going to put up a level of resistance and they're not going to want to know anything more about you or what you're doing. So always brand yourself. And you want to do that by positioning yourself as an authority and as an expert. Now make sure you stay with me to the end of this video because like, you know, Ray has something really great that will help you overcome this deadly sin. Deadly sin number two is not having a clear call to action at the end of your Facebook Lives. If you're not doing Facebook Live videos as a network marketer, you're really missing out on building connection, rapport, and trust with your audience. You see, online, for you to have success, you have to build an audience and engage your audience before you can sell to your audience. And so the purpose of your Facebook Lives is not to pitch your product or opportunity. It is to educate and inform your audience to cause them to take the next step. Because all marketing is, is walking people through a series of steps, getting them to raise their hand and just getting them to that next step to take them from being a stranger to somebody who, the, who knows, likes, and trusts you to want to do business with you. You see, people don't buy from companies, websites, or compensation plans. They buy from people who they know, like, and trust. And Facebook Lives help build that know, like, and trust factor. So when you're doing a Facebook Live, you want to get them to interact with you, to like and comment on your Facebook Live. That's the first step. And then you want them to start reaching out to you. And then you just have them start raising their hands and saying yes to you more often. So Ray teaches a very simple four-step sequence to creating Facebook Lives that will get you more views, more engagement, and people will start reaching out to you. Deadly sin number three is looking for the magical conversion versus work to get more conversations. You know, when people go online, and I have this as well, you know, you don't want the face-to-face -face rejection. And so you think that putting uh, your links everywhere, people will see it, they'll go right to the page, it looks great, it's compelling, the video presentation is awesome, and they're going to want to sign up. It never happens that way. On average, people take an average of seven exposures of looking at your product, service, or business opportunity to come to a decision whether they're going to be a customer or join you as a rep in your business. So Ray advises to focus on conversations over conversions. Build a relationship first because network marketing is relationship marketing. And again, just like I said, people do business with those who they know, like, and trust. So don't get it in your head that you have to be pushy and salesy right off the bat. You want to be able, all right, to start and carry on conversations. So now you're probably asking, well, then how do I know when is the right time to approach? Okay, so these are the next two deadly sins. We're going to focus on that. Uh, deadly sin number four is spending way too much time worrying about one prospect. So if maybe you're you're talking with somebody, you know, they've seen their uh, your business opportunity and they haven't gotten back to you and you are you know they're saying oh I'm gonna sign up at the end of the week and they don't and you begin to worry and then you begin to to pester them and bother them and so what Ray says here is you know there's a way he has a way of building rapport and getting people to you know opening up conversations and getting right to the point, being succinct, 
and knowing how to structure your conversations on Facebook so that you are constantly talking to people, having as many people in your pipeline as possible so that you're not sitting there and worrying about one particular person. And finally, deadly sin number five is taking forever to build rapport. And this has been something that's been, uh, I've been really working on as well, is a lot of times people want to, you know, we, we engage in too much small talk. And we sit there and we drag our feet as to when to really approach someone. And the big challenge is, is how do you structure that question without sounding salesy or needy? And so Ray has a, a really very simple way of doing that. You see, if you take long to build rapport, Building rapport, according to Ray, and he's very right on this, it's not duplicatable, and it does make you run the risk of looking fake, okay, that you're, you're just building rapport and people can smell a pitch behind it. So those are the five deadly sins. Did you find them helpful? If you did, I want you to leave a comment and share. Now I want to share with you something very exciting that Ray started this past July, and he's calling it Rank Makers. This is an exclusive Facebook group where he wants to raise the level of vibration of the network marketing profession because he sees so many network marketers struggling right now, and they're doing all of the wrong things, and it's really you know, giving network marketing a bad name and a bad rap. And he wants to change that image. And so what he did is he created Rank Makers. And it is an amazing community. It is an exclusive Facebook group. And what you do in that group is that Ray is in there. Ray and his wife, Jessica, are in there on a daily basis. And he does training. This training can go anywhere from 10 minutes up to a over an hour at times, and he gives you an action step that you need to do that's going to get you results. And then he mixes it in with a little mindset and, a, and some really practical marketing strategies, how to set up conversations, how to close conversations, how to build and attract the right people to you, both online and offline. I've been a, a founding member since this past July, and it's absolutely amazing to be part of this community. And what you want to do is you want to go to rayhigdon.com forward slash rank makers. Now, I do not get any type of commission with this at all. I'm doing this because I want to help you get results. And this is an amazing group. We have over 3,000 members in it right now. And people are getting results with what Ray is teaching them. So go to rayhigdon.com forward slash rank makers. You can get all the information there of how you can become a member of this community today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.